Hi, I'm Bill from CJ Pony Parts. One of the most common concerns we hear from the Mustang community about the new EcoBoost Mustang is the sound of the exhaust system. When you think about the sound of a Mustang, you think about the deep V8 growl, not the sound you typically hear from a four-cylinder turbo. Ford even addressed this concern by keeping the stock exhaust relatively quiet on the EcoBoost and pumping a fake exhaust tone through the speakers of the car. When it comes down to it, you're never going to get that V8 sound out of a four-cylinder turbo, but it doesn't mean you can't make it sound good and add horsepower at the same time. Today we're going to accomplish both those goals by installing this turbo back exhaust system from MRT. The turbo back exhaust starts off with this 3-inch downpipe, which is available with or without a catalytic converter. From there, it goes into a 3-inch lead pipe, to a Y pipe, and finally a pair of 2.5-inch tailpipes through a set of polished mufflers to 4.5-inch polished double roll tips. This entire system is made of stainless steel and includes all necessary hardware for installation. Like we said, you can order the MRT turbo back system two different ways. If you're looking for emissions legal, plus keep the sound down a little bit, you can go with a high flow catalytic converter, which will definitely outflow the factory cat. But if you're looking for maximum performance and maximum sound, they do make an off-road version, which we're going to be installing today. Since the EcoBoost is new to the Mustang platform, first we're going to walk you through the stock exhaust system to show you what you have from the factory, and then we'll give you some sound clips when we're done. The system starts with the downpipe. Your turbo is mounted on the passenger side. The downpipe comes down here through a very large catalytic converter, through an intermediate pipe to a flex pipe, and finally to a resonator, kind of similar to what the Mustang GTs have. Very large, I'm sure it's heavy and probably very restrictive as well. It's a single pipe into the resonator, then after the resonator, you come to a pair of two and a quarter inch tailpipes that curve back under the IRS, going through a large set of Ford mufflers, ending up in probably the saddest set of Ford stock tips I've seen in a long time. Now we'll show you how it sounds. Yeah, not very impressive. Let's get this off here and install our MRT exhaust system. For this installation, we need a lift or a jack and jack stands, 3 8 ratchet, 13 millimeter deep socket, 15 millimeter deep socket, 6 inch extension, 15 millimeter wrench, ratcheting preferred, exhaust hanger removal tool, and a 7 8 inch or oxygen sensor wrench. Removing the factory exhaust is easy. We found the best thing to do is remove these two bolts here that hold the rear hangers, then we'll remove the clamp up front. And just lift up to unclip them. Now we moved up front, we're gonna move the clamp here between the resonator and the curve in the factory downpipe. And now the clamp's loosened and the hangers are off, you're going to slide the system back and then pull it forward to remove from the factory hangers. You'll definitely want some help for this part. The exhaust is large and rather heavy. Downpipe's connected by two studs and two nuts to the turbo itself, and there's actually a bracket underneath the car as well. First thing you want to do though is disconnect the oxygen sensor. When you take the pipe out, you don't rip the wiring. The sensor is right here. You follow the wire up and it disconnects right here. The nuts can be removed from either the top or the bottom. It just depends on how you're working on the car itself. We'll take one of them off from the top, the easiest one here. The other side is a little bit easier to get to from the bottom. Another point to mention is you do want to make sure that your exhaust is completely cool when doing this installation. 
you know, the nut is right back here. Again, like I said, you can get them both from the top or both from the bottom. It doesn't matter. It is easier to get one from the top, the other one from down here. Well, the pipe's still supported by the bracket hanger. Make sure you disconnect the rear oxygen sensor. Once that's disconnected, you can remove the two nuts that hold the factory downpipe to the bracket. Remove the downpipe from the rear hanger, and then we can remove our downpipe. Once the pipe's off, you want to remove both oxygen sensors and move them to a new MRT pipe. Keep track of front and rear, you want to put them in the same place. I'm going to put a couple dabs of anti-seize onto our sensor and then put it into our new pipe. And be very careful not to cross threaded oxygen sensor. You want to reuse the factory donut with a new MRT downpipe. It should have stayed on the turbo. If it didn't, just make sure you put it back on. This little flanged edge here goes into the turbo. Now put our downpipe up into place. Line up with the factory studs. You get the downpipe centered on the donut with the bracket sitting on the factory bracket and you want to tighten it up. You want to make sure you have the pipe as centered as possible where the factory pipe was. This bracket may not line up 100%. These bolts can be loosened at the transmission and there's a good amount of play in this to get it lined up. Now you grab the intermediate pipe and one of the clamps. Just snug the clamp up. You don't want to make it tight just yet because you still want to make some adjustments. And the same thing with the Y pipe, we're gonna slide it over. Before we can install the tailpipes, you wanna remove the factory hangers from the stock exhaust. Just slide the hanger onto the new tailpipe. Put a clamp on the front. Once the tailpipe's hanging, you want to put the bolt back into the factory hanger and tighten it down. You want to put a clamp on the muffler once you have the tailpipe on. Start by putting it into the rear hanger. Connect with the tailpipe. Now you want to go back through and adjust everything, lift it into place and tighten it down. We're going to reconnect the oxygen sensor underneath the car first, and once this is connected, we'll go up to the engine bay and plug in the other one.
We'll reach back here, pull this up, pull the wire up from the sensor below, plug it into the factory plug, and your installation's finished. You know the main reason a lot of you are watching is to hear how it sounds. Let's fire it up. Real nice aggressive turbo four cylinder sound. First and obvious thing you notice about the MRT Turbo Back off-road version, it's loud. If you're looking to like sneak up on somebody or EcoBoost is your daily driver, this is probably not the system for you. If you're looking to make a statement, you want a real loud, aggressive turbo four-cylinder, this thing sounds killer. By getting rid of the catalytic converter, you can really hear the turbo now. The turbo is a lot louder. You do want to get it tuned because with no cat, the car does run rich and you almost feel it when you're driving it and definitely when you get on it. But you, it's a lot louder. Like I said, you can really, really hear the turbo now. The MRT Off-Road Turbo Back is probably going to be one of the most aggressive sounding systems you're going to find for your EcoBoost Mustang. And as you saw, we were revving it up. You do want to get a tune with this setup because there's no cat. Our car is definitely running on the rich side. Installation will probably take you around three to four hours. So you'll be back on the road in no time. For more install videos on our EcoBoost 15, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel.